hello hello dear viewers welcome to our channel it's very good to have you here in today's video we are going to have a look at a computer controlled exhaust gas recirculation system egr the exhaust gas recirculation system is there to circulate some amount of exhaust gas into the intake manifold so that the combustion maximum temperature can be limited if there is maximum combustion temperature inside the engine that will form nitrogen oxides nitrogen oxide is a pollutant so in order to limit the exhaust gas temperature and the combustion chamber temperature some amount of cool exhaust gas will be recirculated back to into the intake system so that is done by the exhaust gas recirculation system and the amount of recirculation for this particular vehicle is controlled by the ECU now let's see the control mechanism of this right here we have the exhaust gas recirculation actuator it is controlled by the electronic control unit depending on the signal received from the different sensors when temperature increases what happens is there is an exhaust gas exhaust gas is taken from the exhaust manifold right here we have the turbocharger and right here we have a pipe this is a pipe that goes to the exhaust gas recirculation valve this valve this pipe takes fresh exhaust from the intake manifold and that will be brought here this is a controller for the exhaust gas control valve the EGR valve is actuated by this actuator so the EGR valve it will control the amount of exhaust that is taken from the exhaust manifold and that will be fed to the intake manifold so right here we have the computer controlled EGR valve and then the exhaust that is taken from the exhaust manifold will be fed to this cooler this is a cooler see it is connected to the EGR valve right in there and then this is a cooler exhaust gas cooler now exhaust gas cooler as you can see right here it is connected to the vehicle cooling system this is a line coming from the radiator so it is fed by the coolant coolant will be circulated inside this eg exhaust gas recirculation system coolant so this is the cooler for the exhaust gas exhaust gas which is at high temperature when it comes from the exhaust manifold will make its way through the cooler and then through this pipe it will be fed to the intake manifold if you follow that line it comes here this pipe and then if you follow that line it goes directly into the intake manifold see here right here it joins the intake manifold so the idea is exhaust gas will be taken from the exhaust manifold then it will be cooled in here there is a coolant circulation this is a coolant line there will be a coolant circulation in here that will cool the exhaust gas and relatively cold exhaust gas will exit the cooler right here and then it will be fed into the intake manifold so by this way the exhaust gas will display some of the fresh oxygen supply to the engine and by doing so we will reduce the maximum temperature inside the combustion chamber now the rate of exhaust gas circulation for this particular vehicle is controlled by the computer the computer will apply voltage to this electronic actuator now the actuator will limit the amount of oxygen to be circulated Depending on the engine temperature, for example, when engine is extremely hot, large exhaust circulation has to be there. When vehicle is cold and when it is idling, for example, when it is cold, when it is freshly started, there is no need of circulating exhaust gas into the intake manifold. So, the computer will do this job by receiving signal from the different sensors. From the Oxfam vehicles have their own NOx sensor by considering the engine temperature and the exhaust gas emission that is available inside the exhaust gas then the exhaust circulation amount will be determined so this is how a computer controlled exhaust valve exo exhaust gas recirculation system operates exhaust will be received from the exhaust manifold right there through that pipe that pipe will feed exhaust to the EGR this is actuator for opening and closing the EGR valve. Exhaust will be fed to the cooler and then from the cooler it will be fed to the intake manifold. 
So this is how computer-controlled exhaust gas recirculation system operates. If you would like to see some of the symptoms of a bad exhaust gas recirculation system, we have uploaded a video describing the different symptoms of bad EGR valve. EGR valve it can be clogged by excessive carbon deposit. It can be left. It can be kept open or kept closed. If you would like to check that video, the link is in the description. Do check it out. Some of the symptoms of exhaust gas recirculation system problems are covered in detail. Some of the symptoms of bad exhaust gas recirculation system include increased emission, especially NOx emission, engine overheating in some cases, increased fuel consumption, and rough idling and rough engine operation. For example, if the exhaust gas recirculation valve kept open at idle, that will displace most of the oxygen coming into the combustion chamber, and due to that excess exhaust gas inside the combustion chamber, there will be reduction in power and engine will surge that will lead to rough idle so these are some of the basic symptoms of the exhaust gas recirculation system associated problems Well, dear viewers, that is all we have for you in this presentation. If you like this video, smash the like button. If you are new here, do you consider subscribing and uh, turn on notifications so that you will be notified whenever we come up with another video. Till then, stay safe.